So, while we only have 18 days left until Christmas, let's get, let's review some Christmas episodes. So I thought, why not look at the oldest Spongebob Christmas special? But anyway, I'm talking about Christmas Who, the first Spongebob Christmas special. And also, it's a Spongebob Christmas. I could be comparing these two Spongebob Christmas special to see which one is the best out of them all. We, got, we are going to be seeing which story is the best, which songs is the best, which one looked better, and which one had the best ending and the best messes. So let's do this. The story. The episode about where Sandy is playing to Spongebob what is Christmas about. Of course, Spongebob tell everyone about Christmas, and everyone is pretty excited except for Squidward, of course, because it's Squidward. So Spongebob teaches everyone and his friends about how you can send Santa Claus a letter, how to give him a letter, and many more. And everyone seems excited about Christmas, except for Squidward. is that the people of Bikini Bottom will stop paying any attention to the inane dribble that is constantly streaming out of this dunderhead's mouth. Gee, Squidward, maybe Santa will bring me a dictionary so I can understand... Oh, 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 the Story When Mr. Plankton have an idea to make a brownie that turns everyone to evil, of course, so he can, will be able to get the secret formula for Christmas, since everyone been naughty for Christmas. And so yeah, this, that basically the story. But there is also like another plot of the story too. So throughout this Christmas special, it seems like SpongeBob would be the only one to save everyone for Christmas. Anyway, the side plot of this Christmas special is also the side plot of this special is also about Tasky the Pirate and his pet bird trying to fix their car. In my opinion, I think it's a special about Christmas is basically have a better story than the other Christmas special. One point for it's a special about Christmas. The song. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to like like play the song like audio, but I go try to explain my best about why the song is really good. And I'm not really that good at explaining how why I like songs, but I go try. Does this song in the Christmas special this really is the star sick and a lot of people love this song and I can't blame them. To see his cat of SpongeBob seeing how much they can wait for Christmas is pretty cute. And also the the folk the folk the folk the folk clothes are you the folk clothes of the song is pretty good, and the way how the, the way how the cat is saying how they're excited for Christmas is really nice, and just to see, and it really feels like the voice actors who voice Buzz, Buzz Bob and Patrick are just having a really nice time. I ca again, I cannot play the audio, but overall, I think the song is really nice. The lyrics are pretty good and simple to follow, and this it's just a really nice song. I don't know, I don't, that all I have to say about it. The song. Okay, so the it's just about Christmas. Have a lots, a lots, and a lots of songs, but I'm only gonna be comparing one song. So it's not really fair to, I don't really have that much time to talk about all the songs, but I'm just going to be compared with the one song that everyone knows, Don't Be A Suck. I'm not going to be able to play the audio for this song, because copyright, of course, but I do, I do really like the song. The way how, no, well, I don't really know how to explain the song, kind of, again, I'm not that good at explaining why I like songs, but the rhythm to the song and the beat and how Spongebob I mean, Tom, you know, Tom Kenny sang the song. It's pretty nice. Don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. 
But overall, the song is really sweet and nice, and it's pretty nice to listen to around December. I recommend people to watch this Christmas special, because I think it's really good. And the songs in the Christmas special make you feel happy. So overall, in my opinion, I think it's a special Christmas and the other special Christmas special. Both have really good songs, so they both get a point. But anyway, if you didn't know about Spongebob, the guy who made Spongebob was Steven Hillberg. And, well, when he was directing Spongebob, his first song in the Spongebob actually was usually designed and named was Spongeboy from Steven Hillberg, of course. The only reason why I'm talking about this is because I wasn't really able to find behind the scenes of the Christmas special, the original Spongebob Christmas special. But I want you guys to know, like, how Steven Hillberg started to make Spongebob and how he made the designs of the characters because this is the best information I can find about you know Spongebob animation and they probably use the same animation for the Christmas special Actually, turns out for the special Christmas special, there were a group of people who made this stop motion, and they really did want to like capture the movement of SpongeBob, because SpongeBob would really move fast or just sing a lot and just have fun, like SpongeBob would usually do. And the way how the people actually took the time to make this is really nice of them to do. And it actually turns out that but the core approach is the same as it's been done for over a century. Consider this mind-boggling fact. It takes them an entire day to make just five seconds of moving video. Oh, character. Five seconds. That's literally take them a day just to make five seconds of a stop motion. That's how you know the people actually put love and effort to this. And the backgrounds of this is pretty nice. So overall, that all I had to say about this special Christmas, but there's so much details about how they made it. I'll just put a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. So in my opinion, I think these two both look good. They both are, they both are very different in your, their own unique way. That would make them both good. The theme. The end. Spoilers for it's no Christmas who for SpongeBob. Anyway, I think everyone is done singing SpongeBob as Squidward. If you wonder why I love this Santa Claus, of course Squidward say no to, Spon to SpongeBob. You can see that there is no Santa Claus. It just just stop believing. But SpongeBob don't care because he's still happy. But unfortunately, the next day after. Everyone was done thinking about Christmas. Santa Claus don't Santa Claus come. Santa came for Christmas. And of course, everyone is sad. Of course, Santa Claus don't come. Santa Claus them. But it doesn't work. Everyone leaves. So SpongeBob and Bachelor just lose hope. While SpongeBob just feels sad and feel like there is no hope left. But Squidward, on the other hand, is happy that SpongeBob is sad and everyone don't believe in Santa Claus anymore. Wow. Christmas photo up. Uh. And you move in a little. <laughs> Say Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Wow, Squidward is such a. Wow, Squidward is such a. Okay, I never cussed on my Santa before. But Squidward. Squidward. Squidward is a. But Squidward do get the Squid, Squid, Squidward impressive. I made it for you. And Squidward loved the game that Squidward gave him. It smells like one too. Handcrafted out of driftwood. And it's even got my name on it. Well, anyway, for the end of this special Christmas, it turns out that everyone was on the naughty list. Especially Spongebob, but it actually turned out that Spongebob is a robot, but the robot that played in made, of course, and the robot tried to destroy everything that is Christmas, which is basically Santa, but lucky for us, Spongebob is here to save Santa, and everyone is not on the naughty list anymore, well, except for 
except for Platon, and which means that Platon does not get a secret formula for Christmas. Well, also, well, that basically the ending for the Christmas special, but there's also like another ending. Is when Patsy the Pirate, yeah, Patsy the Pirate meets Santa Claus, Blasty Tom is a polar bear. That basically the end of the episode, and yeah, I think this ending is pretty good. So the message of this Christmas special is that you should always believe and always be kind to people on Christmas because Spongebob believed in Christmas and Santa Claus and when Sp and Squidward was kind enough to give everything to everyone so they could have hope, which was really nice. And the message is basically don't give up hope the end and always do the right thing when it comes to believing. The Deem. But anyway, it's just like the song say, you should always be kind to people on Christmas and just be happy on Christmas. And you should always just like share the story with everyone and give to everyone. Well, this is gonna be a hard choice. I think both of them are very really good. Each of them both get a point and each of them both of them win.